As time goes on, combat drones are becoming an ever-increasing part of the battlefield. They represent the future of warfare, where troops become less involved and remote weapons start to take over. In this video, we're going to look at three of the most powerful combat drones and see what makes them so special. Firstly, the Jackal. This is a small, lightweight, modular vertical takeoff and landing drone courtesy of the British Royal Air Force. This drone is expected to fill a critical position in the future unmanned Air Force concept for advanced combat operations. It's the product of Flyby Technology, a UK startup and project of former RAF and Royal Navy fighter pilot John Parker. They worked with Turkish partners Fly BVLOS Technology, an aviation consultant, along with Maxwell Innovations, an aviation component manufacturer, to develop the drone. This drone is a multi-purpose attack vehicle that can fire multiple missiles. Its wingspan of 5 meters is able to carry a significant weight of up to 15 kilograms. Its impressive range of 130 kilometers operates at a maximum altitude of 4,000 meters. The drone's requirement to launch and support missiles engineered by engineering company Thales makes it capable of firing state-of-the-art weapons to destroy enemy targets. Another useful attribute is that it has a plug-and-play system that allows it to take on new equipment and technologies between missions. This makes the vehicle massively adaptable for battle. The UAV can also be integrated with Starstreak, a short-range surface-to-air missile, and LMM munitions as was proved during initial testing. It has an operational range of up to 150 kilometers on secure C2 links. The other way the Jackal has been designed to be stealthy is through its propulsion. It has four sets of twin contra-rotating propellers. This gives it the ability to take off, hover, and land vertically. This is a crucial feature because it doesn't need a runway to land. During the testing phase, power for the two pairs of rotors and the electric ducted fans came courtesy of batteries, but the full-scale production versions will instead use a turbo generator. These will be four wing-mounted electric ducted fan engines to move forward and maneuver at high speeds. These speeds are a maximum of 160 km per hour, with a cruising speed of 108 km per hour. Hydra 400 is another British UAV technology. The business behind this drone was founded in October 2019 and funded by the British Army to reinvent heavy-lift UAVs and develop the hybrid jet electric concept. The new Hydra 400 offers best-in-class lift capacity, speed, and range to allow for deployment in any industry sector. This is tech that uses rotors and jet engines in tandem. The Hydra is small and portable, so much so that it can be transported on a regular pickup truck and, if needed, can be prepared for flight in six minutes. To fly, the Hydra has single-spooled jet turbines that generate 500 newtons of thrust, which lets it lift a generous 882 pounds. The plan is for the UAV to carry the Brimstone missile. This missile is a huge part of the system because it's the source of firepower for the Hydra. It's an advanced anti-armor missile developed by European missile manufacturer MBDA, with American aerospace and defense company Boeing as the primary subcontractor. The missile has a length of 180 millimeters, a weight of 50 kilograms, and a diameter of 180 millimeters. It is a powerful, combat-proven, low-collateral, close-air support weapon that can be ground or air-launched. When air-launched, the Brimstone exceeds RAF requirements for a long-range anti-armor weapon. This is a massive advantage, as it gives fighter planes the ability to destroy tanks and armored assets deep behind enemy lines. This means the Hydra 400 can stay a safe distance away while launching its weapon, which massively increases survivability. It is also equipped with a release system which can carry a variety of payloads depending on the mission, including casualty evacuation pods, cargo racks, underslung loads, and a number of weapon systems including the brimstone we've already looked at. There are also plans to potentially add features that could allow the drone to extract troops from the battlefield and take them to a hospital. Our next drone has been developed by the U.S. Air Force and is known as the XQ-58A Valkyrie. This is a high subsonic, long-range strike unmanned aerial vehicle that is a joint project between Kratos Defense and Security Solutions in collaboration with the Air Force Research Laboratory. 
It's a low-cost unmanned combat aerial vehicle designed for deployment in surveillance, reconnaissance, and long-range combat missions. Its main requirement is to serve as an unmanned support or wingman aircraft to a manned fighter aircraft during battle. The Valkyrie has a clean sheet design. Its trapezoidal fuselage uses swept back main wings, a V-shaped tail, and an air intake above the fuselage. The stealthy way that the drone has been designed makes it a very difficult target to detect and track. This long-range strike aircraft has commercial off-the-shelf components. It uses manual or pre-programmed flight control systems, ensuring high maneuverability during missions. In terms of size, the Valkyrie has a length of 9.14 meters and a wingspan of 8.2 meters. The weight of the aircraft itself is 1,134 kilograms, while its maximum takeoff weight is 2,722 kilograms. It can carry a maximum payload of 544 kilograms. The open mission system architecture lets it integrate customer-specific payloads based on mission requirements. Like the Jackal, this drone needed no runway facilities to take off and land. However, it uses a different way of doing this through rocket-assisted launch capability and parachute recovery systems. The Valkyrie can fly at a cruise speed of Mach 0.72. It can also fly at altitudes ranging between 50 feet and 45,000 feet and attain a maximum range of 5,556 kilometers. The vehicle's weapons can be placed both on the wing pylons and inside a special compartment. As the XQ-58A Valkyrie is not a full-fledged fighter, it will be controlled from the nearest aircraft. This makes it suitable for the destruction of the air defense systems, such as the Russian S-400 and S-500. It is planned that the Valkyries, which are capable of carrying two small-diameter guided bombs, will be the first line of attacking orders and deliver the first blow of air defense. Their main target will be enemy radar, anti-aircraft missile launchers, and air defense command posts. The internal weapons bay can hold and deliver at least two GBU-39 small-diameter bombs, while the combat UAV can also carry lethal weapons on its wing stations. A flight test of the XQ-58A aircraft was successfully conducted for the second iteration of the Valkyrie maturation program at the end of November 2022. This provided significant results as the UAS flew longer and higher with a heavier mission weight and at a longer range than the previous test. It also demonstrated the aircraft's autonomous capability to navigate to the landing site in a loss of communication scenario. What do you think about these combat drones? Let us know in the comments and please like this video if you've enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this one, then subscribe to Spotlight for more. Thanks for watching.